poured some resin on here, right? Correct. Okay, you see all these bajillion bubbles right here? Yes, I do. We got to get rid of them. Okay. And right, you don't want to overcook your resin. So as soon as you look at Oh, yeah, that's fast. You see those little. Okay, it went away. If you see like this speck right there, that's garbage. Let's look at, oh, yeah. there's, there's a lot of trash in the air. And it's not for me talking. Ah, crap. Okay, so, you got your gloves on? Yep. Okay, so we just want to smear this all around. And I like to get it way down on the side, so that way we get even, when it rolls off, it rolls off pretty good. Okay. okay. Roll it around. Remember, we only got 30 minutes. Oh, I got it down and this is art resin. This is the good stuff. Not everyone's going to agree with me, but they don't have to use it. Okay, we'll keep as much as we can on the top. Yep. So, like when you rub it off, you can throw it back up there. Okay, okay. no dry spots? Nope. Okay, so we're going to do a different technique, okay? Okay. I usually start out where I'm going, going to have negative space. I always say that and then I end up with zero negative space. So I'm just going to come down. That looks good to me. Okay, we're done. Just kidding. <laughs> just, I guess, Marty. Okay. So if you lay the colors down by each other, that's usually pretty good. There you go. Well, that's going to be pretty thick. Okay. And I'm probably going to put the dark on the outside. So let's just kind of make your design whatever you want to make. And you know what? Everyone who does this is going to do it different. Okay, so when you start doing it, you'll do it different. There's just certain rules that you have to learn. And after you know what those are, you'll be good. Paper pa paper towels are good to have, and I didn't grab a roll of paper towels. Alcohol is also good to get resin off. Okay, so why am I using the torch? Because there's a lot of bubbles. Uh-huh, and you know what else? It's going to... Make it so I can push it. It's also good to. Um, what do you mean by that? That right happen. What just happened right now, I'm afraid, is what's making it difference. So we will. That's too much. I forgot to get too quick. We do not want to cook. Yeah, okay, okay. that's not good. You gotta put more resin there, don't you? Yeah. Let's just give it a minute. Let's see what happens. Need to introduce. I'm afraid that's happening because I didn't give the clear coat that I put on top of it time to dry. Okay. Let's hope not. Well, that will why cause... is the other side okay then? Well, just one spot. Because there was an area over here. Yeah, see, oh, look at it. it's already starting to. Yeah, bubble. To, no, not bubble. Um, lace. I'm gonna just do it here one more time. Remember, I said not too much because if you cook it, it's gonna ruin it. Mm -hmm. Okay. This is a different technique, okay? Okay. So, and I just want to do it in really small areas. So I'm just going to pull. I just know one of these days I'm going to start my hair on fire. Okay, and what is that doing? Is that hardening it? Or? Nope, nope. It's keeping it pliable so I can work with it. But I want these, see these bubbles and stuff and the colors that are coming through? Mm -hmm. That's what I want. 
So once we use this, I mean, some people try to fold it over and use it again. It's just wax paper. Not a big deal. I think I feel like I should have done my makeup. Okay, so what do you think? We'll come this way. We'll just get in there and make something fancy. And then right away, immediately, let's hit it. You might have cooked that. See that smoke? That's yeah. not a good sign. Okay. So we want to kind of move it around. Oh, look at those pretty colors coming through. Isn't that great? Yeah. Look at Isn't that pretty? Mm-hmm. And I just, you know, you don't want to overcook it, but I like to move it in other places before I come back again. And see, I cut more of these up than what I plan on using because. That's what yeah, you do. Yeah, it's just what I do. So, you can just do funny things. So, what are we going to do? Do it. Do it again. Here we go. So, see how that brung that up a little bit? Yeah. The color, the other colors? Yep. That's kind of nice. Like I'm going to push it off the side on purpose. I want some of that wood to show. Okay. And you never really know what you're going to end up with. Some people will be looking at it and they're like, don't touch it anymore. But you can't stop. Cause, you know, it's like it's funny. Thing. So what do you think? I think you need to go right there. Bring it over. Ooh, that's cool. Okay, I feel like I want to leave it alone. If you know it's going to go off, you can feel it. Yeah. Take it back, because that shoots butane at it. And I'm pretty darn sure that's what makes it of it. See? Yeah. Ugh. Okay, so I'm gonna hit it with this again. See how this is moving it? Mm -hmm. I said a minute ago I wanted that to show. I want it to show, but I don't want to make it bare of everything. Uh, yeah. I really like that. I don't want to do this anymore. It is bare re resin though. Yeah, we've got more we can pour on. Mm -hmm. I'm going to add more just so we can get a little more definition. Okay. I'm going to pour. See the, bus the bubbles in there? Mm -hmm. Okay, it burst. Yeah. There. So you'll find that, okay, so I got rid of all the bubbles there, mm -hmm. but when I walk over here, now I can see more. Oh, yeah. So you want to look at them from all angles. And like I said, we don't want to cook it too much, but you don't want those bubbles either. There's a lot of bubbles in this one. And it is still kind of thick. Alright, we're going to go with it. So you have about a half hour to work on this. Okay. Am I seeing a divot here? Yep. This doesn't always work. I'm going to push it back and forth. And I'm probably going to add more wet resin right there. This is really bubbling up a lot. Usually I don't have to work at this 
But we really didn't use much paint on this. We used colorants. Mm -hmm. But the white is a pool of paint, so I haven't actually mixed these two things together. Before. And so is the white. It's also acrylic. Yeah, the white is acrylic. That pure color. Yeah. And I, there's not really a lot of that in there, actually. Okay, so what color are you seeing the most of? The dark black. Dark. So let's get a new spoon. And maybe, oops, let's pretend like we're outlining something. Okay. See that? Yep. Maybe up here. I don't know. There we go. That's okay if you get little things like that. What would Bob Ross say? Happy little accidents. <laughs> I like this a lot. I like this a lot. <sighs> but it's really thick on the top. And it is, most of the time you have to pour off on your pores. The trick here is not to stretch it too much. When I say stretch it, I see what you mean. Yeah. You come back. You just rock it back. It's been a long time since I've done any pours because you need such a big space. Mm -hmm. I feel like you do. Yeah. I don't know. What do you think? Yeah, that's pretty cool. So I can still see more bubbles coming up. Mm -hmm. See any divots? If you get we'll get way down here and look at it from all different angles. I think it looks pretty good. Do we get all the sides? Camera person is that side done? Yeah. So um, this particular board is probably I think it's an inch thick okay and it's solid oak oh so I treated this with a sealant because wood and um, resin sometimes don't play very well together you'll see separation like on these these are practice ones you can see I put two layers and it still acted up for me Okay. But I didn't really sand it. It was an experiment. And then over here, the same thing. And this was still wet. Looks like it's still wet. Yeah, it does. Okay, so I'm going to hit it again. And... When I tip it down, it shuts off, but when it shuts off, it spits butane. And butane contaminates the resin, and then you'll start seeing the problem. And then it doesn't hurt it. Well, like on this one, I'm pretty sure that's what caused it. Or dimples. I'm really 
like cooking this. This to be a fail for, but it really, I don't know if it's because I mixed that color with the paint. A lot of these are going to pop on their own. Mm -hmm. So, we'll come back and see what happens after it's all dry. Alright, so what you 